New drone video tonight after a massive fire burned through an industrial facility in Comstock Park. A portion of US 131 is down to one lane as cleanup continues, so drivers should expect delays there. And as our Charlie Tinker reports, because of what this facility does, fire investigators say the outcome could have been far worse. That's right, because of what this facility does, it meant that hazmat crews, various teams, including private ones, and crews from Eagle had to get involved just to prevent and head off any potential contamination. Drone video from Plainfield Fire shows heavy smoke and rekindled flames ripping through a Comstock Park industrial building overnight. The fire initially broke out early Sunday morning at a Green for Life environmental facility in an industrial park off Mill Creek Avenue. When we arrived here the second time, a lot of that stuff was on fire along with vehicles. Plainfield Township District Fire Chief Kyle Svoboda was one of the around five dozen firefighters who responded. We had the uh, fire extinguished and then later in uh, the evening last night, the fire um, grew up again. We're not sure why we're still under investigation. The flammable liquid stored inside the complex meant the response had to be tailored to minimize exposure. With the amount of fire we had, we we're worried about exposure, so we got exposure protection. So if we can get the, the flames knocked down initially, and then we can uh, evaluate it, like bring in a hazmat team to kind of provide us some assistance and guidance. And then uh, at some points, yeah, there's uh, the ability to let it burn instead of running off into the groundwater. GFL is a national collector and recycler of used oil and burner fuel. According to its website, the Comstock Park facility served as a drop-off location for liquid and special waste collection. So we got flammable liquids. Obviously, we're concerned about the runoff as what we had uh, this morning. So we're worried about how much water we're putting on it, uh, you know, how to contain all those chemicals that are coming out of the building. Several large tanks, each holding potentially thousands of gallons, remained unexploded and appeared to have been spared Monday. We're not sure how full those still are. Those were not ruptured, so it could have been far worse than what it actually is. Svoboda said both the explosion and the resulting runoff would have been significant. Eagle officials and various hazmat crews remained on scene Monday. They'll be on the highway, I would imagine, for most of the day, and maybe tomorrow digging up some of the soil. Now, the Plainfield Fire uh, District Chief says it could be several weeks before they arrive at a cause. What caused this fire to spark in the first place? What caused it later on to rekindle as well, if they determine a cause at all? We're in uh, Comstock Park. Charlie Tinker, 13 on your side.